hello, and good evening everyone. We are getting some disturbing news reports that, well, uh, that, apparently, God has just died. Yes, that's right, our wonderful God, the God. The Almighty, has died. I can't believe it, the, uh, creator of heaven and earth, has passed. Adios amigo. This is very disappointing for me, as now, this makes me, the oldest being, in the universe. But, I digress. Well, this is freaking huge. I hope I get good ratings. Anyway, it seems our heavenly father met his end in a most bizarre and peculiar accident, involving a gay pangolin, a Texas tank, and Thunderfoot's telescope. Details are sketchy right now, but the Almighty's last words were quoted as, Wow, this is pretty sucky. Reaction from around the globe has been greatly varied. The Catholic Church has issued a statement saying quote, As always, send money in lieu of flowers, but of course this time, we won't be giving it to God, end quote. Other religious leaders of the world have been seen pawning their religious garb and vestments on eBay. YouTubers have also chimed in. Potholder54 has been quoted saying, Damn it, I'm only halfway done with my new series. Fact vs. Religion has changed her channel name to Fact vs. Ha Fucking Ha. Similarly, Theoretical Bullshit has changed his name to Theoretically Accurate, and, Dark Matter is now making wacky cartoons of Dungeons and Dragons deities and demigods. CDK has stopped thinking about it, and now plays DNA vs. RNA with Don Exodus. Edward Current is in a vicious stalemate, and Coughlin seems not to have noticed, as he is still in a drunken stupor. The Atheist Experience channel can now be found on www.wefuckingtoldyouso.com Strangely, the world is carrying on as it was before, almost as if God had no effect on anything, when he was alive. Yes, it seems as though, wars are still being waged, and homeless children are still starving. Obviously, prayers are not being answered now. But, amputees claim that, their prayers, were never answered before anyhow. Yes, sadly it's true. Hurricanes, earthquakes, and deadly weather phenomena, still continues. It's as though God never really intervened with those things in the first place. And now, if, I may, a special comment. For this segment, I was going to show, stock footage from the internet, depicting war, disease, famine, natural disasters, and man's behavior, toward man. However, I was deeply disturbed by the amount of real hate and carnage that I saw, and I think we all see enough of that in our daily lives. So, I will spare you the visceral images. Truly, this world looks as though there is no God running the show. How can it be that this world looks like a world without a God? What kind of God fails so miserably at a successful creation? I would be embarrassed if this world were my creation. We can argue about the Big Bang, abiogenesis, and evolution. But at the end of the day, if God does not show himself, does not interact or intervene, then it's the same as him not being there at all. At all. And by the way, how can we know anything about something which we cannot measure or detect? Epicurus wrote in 270 BCE, is God willing to prevent evil, but not able? Then he is not omnipotent. Is he able, but not willing? Then he is malevolent. Is he both able and willing? Then whence cometh evil? Is he neither able nor willing? Then why call him God? Thank you, and be well.